I just got my shipment of of some wood the panels so I'm gonna go in I'm going to uh, smudge my panels which is a part of my practice when I'm doing art so I'm gonna smudge so that I can go in a good way uh, I just gave some tobacco to my tree relative over here uh, which is another thing that I tend to do as well is make an offering and yeah I'm gonna go and smudge my board so that I can start getting them prepped The concept of medicine is very big and broad. I would say that a Western perspective kind of narrows it down to like those substances that interact in our body and work in some sort of mechanism to facilitate some sort of change in our uh, biology or our biochemistry, right? So, so that's kind of a, a narrowed Western version of medicine. But I think from our perspective, it's larger than that. Medicine is, is, is the nature of our relationship with everything. It started with an idea that Dr. Aline Barani had, um, where we would actually have uh, a mural in the medical school in the main hallway. And um, from my perspective, there are really two things that this fulfills. One is that for our Indigenous students, faculty and staff to feel more at home. And second, really, I think it's a great educational opportunity for um, many people who are not familiar with uh, Indigenous health and, uh, the, and the aspects of it. So when I was working on a gender equity project um, with Dr. Shannon Rizicki, uh, I remember sitting in her office, we were reviewing our data, and I said, I have an idea. I said, and I, I said Let's, uh, wh I want to show you a wall. And we walked out uh, from her office through uh, across the Pedway, and we looked out onto, over, over top of Hippocrates, past Hippocrates, and onto that wall. And we said, I said, imagine if we had a piece of artwork here that showed new and different ways uh, and, and histories and perspectives on, on medicine. We really wanted to uh, honor the protocols and, and the, the teachings from our own nations and our own backgrounds. You know, there's sage, there's sweet grass uh, and, and stuff like that. So we wanted to include those things that, that are very common knowledge for people to know. But we also wanted to broaden people's ideas of what medicine is for us traditionally, but also the power, the, uh, the, the gifts that we can receive from different plants and animals and, and sky people and, and, and uh, stars and stuff like that. Health and wellness is a part of many different facets of our life, uh, but also many different facets of our surroundings as well. So the health of us is directly reflective of the health of Mother Earth and the health of our plant relatives and our animal relations. You know, there's so many holistic healing practices. I think that's why we chose the medicine wheel. And, you know, people who come in might not know what it means, but maybe it'll plant a seed that will bloom for them to dig deeper in, in, their, in their own lives. You know, what does healing mean? What does medicine mean to them? Uh, especially when they're students, because they're in that place of learning and growing. And so that's my hopes, is that, you know, we could provide a light for, for those who want to learn and want to grow and be good helpers. And in my language, we call them, call them uh, oscopios, you know, helpers. There's medicine everywhere for us. The Rocky Mountains, the plains. Our medicine is found everywhere. And, and to those that are reconnecting to the culture, it's going to be a very fun learning experience for them. <laughs> Medicines that are in the medicine wheel, it represents like the medicines that we hurt, like harvest from the seasons. And um, with my corner, it's um, the winter season, and you have like cedar, um, you have juniper, and you also have fungi to like, harvest as well from the trees and barks and um, stuff like that. Winter is personally one of my favorite seasons. And to have winter in a theme of medicine, um, I mostly thought of home and how we store medicine at home, how we smudge ourselves or provide each other with medicine like during our travels and, and at home as well. <laughs> with my mural, it's like with the color palette and um, the mountainscapes and 
um, we in which I have little TBs like home scattered so I really wanted to um, to incorporate that into uh, what I would view medicine in the winter time this piece it has so much to it and I think all of us connected to our spirit and expressed it in our own ways especially because we each got a different time of year so I had summer and summer to me is so vibrant a time where you connect with the land you can be outside longer it's nicer out and you know it's a time to prepare for winter and um, like pick medicines the element of the four figures that are making treaty together um, and and doing a ceremony and and sharing medicine and for a person who's non-indigenous and they look at that they don't get the sort of nuances and the little bits that this is medicine and that this is a uh, one of our most important cultural practices is smoking a pipe together and that's how you make you know the term peace pipe comes from that. So in my piece you know I try to embody that idea of connection through a couple of different means so I have the DNA strand you know talking about the connection to our ancestors and ancestral memory that's encoded in our own blood and our DNA that blood memory right uh, but then I also have language and you know our language actually comes from the frequencies of the land and so even in my piece as well you see the mountains, you see the animals. Uh, I have Cree syllabics that say wakotoin, uh, which is a teaching of relationships and taking care of one another and our plant relatives. So everything is connected and I think that when we look at health and wellness, we can't think of it as being singular and secular because the health of our environment, of Mother Earth, of our culture, of everything if we're not taking care of one another, then we're also not taking care of ourselves as well. And that directly plays on our health and well being. I think as artists, uh, especially coming from our communities and coming together to collaborate, it's really important to go to our knowledge keepers because they're the ones who hold, you know the wisdom and experience from from their lifetime. So the mural um, reflects uh, the possibilities of an inclusion, right? Inclusion of, of Indigenous ways of knowing, seeing the world perspective, uh, ways of being well, um, and it, it offers the potential for um, the viewer to engage with not just the idea, but with also with the emotion that's connected to it. When we were engaging with the elders, a lot of them shared that, you know, they went to residential schools, they, you know, felt the impacts of colonialism, and it really affected their own creativity as youth. And so, I remember being in the engagement with the elders and just feeling this overwhelming privilege to be an artist because I don't think a lot of them were able to be and that's really emotional <laughs> and it just made me remember how important it is to celebrate who I am as an indigenous person because a lot of people weren't allowed to. To give indigenous people an opportunity to retell those stories or to uh, you know, tell it in the way that, that we were told, or that how we see the world. There's really no better way to do that but through art and through culture and something big, massive mural on, on a wall of a, of a place where our medicine, our doctors were not called doctors or our medicine was not legitimate for so long because we were seen as inferior or savages, right? And so this sort of comes about in a, in, a, in a circular way to say that, yeah, our ways are important and that some of the current medical practices are actually not current. They're very old, they're just being brought back. And so that's sort of a nice way to show that, you know, we have been important, 
and you tried to take that from us for, for such you know, really a short amount of time that we didn't forget who we were and we don't want you to forget who we are and so we're going to show you. Art is powerful because it can instantaneously transform our perspectives on something. And so because art is so powerful, having a large mural at the most iconic place in the Health Sciences Centre, it becomes a place for transformation through dialogue, through exchange, uh, and I think that's what makes this piece, piece really special. I think this project and projects like this are really important because it's a signal. It's a signal to Indigenous students, staff, faculty, patients, that this is a place where they belong um, and that there is a commitment to making that space somewhere where they belong. Um, but I think it also sends a signal to the non-Indigenous members of our, our medical school community um, that we are committed to this and that Indigenous ways of knowing, Indigenous health, Indigenous wellness and medicines are valued and an important part of our community here. I think it's good for for more artists and for more youth and elders and knowledge keepers to have experiences around art. A lot of people don't have a lot of experiences around contemporary art or, or um, an understanding of it. So this is an opportunity for all kinds of people to, to be involved in a project that they wouldn't normally know anything about at a university, nonetheless, that they may not feel super comfortable being in. I find it really important that organizations and spaces like this are doing what they can to help limit barriers and be welcoming. That's, that's crucial to move on, so I do hope more projects like this take place. My hopes are when they come into the space, they get a feeling of warmth in their, in their stomach. <laughs> they feel that um, positive energy and healing. My hope is that people will see this beautiful art and they'll be excited about it, but then later on they'll be thinking about, oh, you know, there were teepees in that art or there were medicines in that art and what does that mean? And that sparks enough curiosity that people then go on to continue to learn. And that is such a big part of reconciliation. Everybody should view the art because it's done by four it's like incredible artists from different backgrounds, different upbringings, and different views of uh, medicinal practices. So which is very interesting as most of these stories are combined in within the seasons or the four directions and um, yeah, the uh, medicine wheel as well. So uh, is, you're not just getting one painting, you're getting four and you're getting four different perspectives and four different, like four everything. <laughs> and it turns out that four is a very traditional uh, sacred number as well. So there you go. <laughs>